I'm willing to bet that, ma that many of you are familiar with the fact that up to 90% of patient risk is attributed to social determinants of health, individual behavior patterns, and genetics. I know this because as our payer team has traveled the country talking with many of you, regardless of size, we know that you're undertaking population health initiatives and you're facing three basic challenges. One is data is everywhere. You're not starved for data, you're inundated with data. You've got zeros and ones flowing everywhere through your organization. The problem is how do you combine those in order to get a comprehensive view of your specific member population? How do you take that comprehensive view and begin to target those members who are most at risk from a health perspective? And how do you track the efficacy of the different programs that you're involved with? How do you know that your time um, of your staff and the resources financially that you're pouring into these things are actually having a good impact. I'd like to suggest over the course of this five next five minutes I'm going to spend with you that click geo analytics can help. I believe that mapping is a huge, huge component um, for population health and I, and I think it's su proven success, which started back in 1854 when John Snow used mapping to solve the problem of cholera. I think we can do the same thing, and we've got data that's freely available to us. So I know that many of you try to map your members. Ooh, I want to see where my members live. I, I want to see just where my COPD members live. No, 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 no. I want to see um, just with those with chronic heart failure. Where, where, where are they living? Ooh, I can, I can see where they live, and that's one thing. That, to me, that's like a Hershey's kiss. I'm getting started in into the the world of chocolate, and I, and I can consume a Hershey's Kiss. This is one thing. The world I want to live in has a more comprehensive view, kind of like a 10-layer chocolate cake. I want to begin seeing more things. As I mentioned, one of the things that, that's obviously huge, um, and a huge term, is social determinants of health. There's data freely available, like the CDC social vulnerability indicators. I want to track, I, I, I'd like to see how my members are living based on these things, not just where they're living. And so maybe I want to start adding in layers. I, I want that cake, not the Hershey's Kiss. Um, nah, yeah, that was yesterday. That, I wanted to see income yesterday, but man, I, I, I'd rather see the areas of the state that are below poverty. Not, 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 not that, well, that was, that was last week. I, I'd like to see where the, the members are living who are 17 and under. What, what's, what's those areas where there's a lot of children? Not, that's silly. That, that would, that, that's probably next week. Right now, today, I'd like to look at the hot spots where there's a lot of, of population in the state of Georgia that's over 65. And I want to see those communities where those folks live, right? And I can zoom in on this, just like with any mapping. Now, I like to start adding, you know, maybe some mousse to my cake. I, I like to add some more layers. One of the nice things is we can turn on as many layers as you want to give you that comprehensive view. Maybe I want to see my members, how they're living, what the communities are like, and I want to see where the hospitals are in the area. Well, gosh, I... I this gives me some, ah, yeah, this guy's close to hospital, but how far is that? What if I use the click geo analytics function to actually map out a layer for drive time, not distance. This isn't a circle saying they're 30 miles away. This is, here's the area that can be reached around this hospital within 60 minutes. Notice that the more hospitals there are as these layers um, overlay each other, it gets darker and darker. So I know these members could walk out of their house, hop their neighbor's fence, and they'll be at a hospital. They're, they're just, they're everywhere, no matter what direction they would turn, they can get there. But I'm beginning to see some members here who are kind of underserved. That might be of interest to me. Well, they're, they're, maybe, they got, maybe they're close to urgent care facilities. So I could maybe layer in the urgent care facilities and, well, geez, I might as well go ahead and layer in maybe a 25-minute drive time for the urgent cares. Where could folks reach an urgent care even though they can't reach a hospital? Ah, well, while we're at it, let's go ahead and add in pharmacies. And of course, let's add in a pharmacy layer. And as I begin to drill in here, I can see that these members are very, very well served. But I know that we've got members in these areas that are highly 
elderly, and they're very underserved by, by medical facilities. Maybe though, ha, you know, that was, gosh, that was like last week for you. You're more worried about how could you tie claims data in? What, what if I could start adding things with your specific claims data? What if, uh, you know, that program that we're involved in, yeah, let's, let's maybe map where the healthy food stores are in the community. Let's, let's map in where the gyms are in the communities. Let's, let's maybe, oh man, this would be crazy. What if we could get the air quality maps that are live and overlay those things, which Click Geoanalytics can do for you? The more data you begin to think about, I hope that this time has been well spent and hoping you realize this stuff can be layered in map we're using a mapping tool like click geo analytics and this is where you begin to get that real comprehensive value um, out of your data it's not just that these things exist it's that i can begin layering these and enjoy myself like i would enjoy a nice chocolate 10 layer cake hope the time has been well spent more importantly, I hope it's a conversation starter. Let us talk to you about what we can do to help you with the programs that you may have so we can help your members.